Hi everybody. What I'm going to be doing today is a crockpot meal. It's called chicken chasseur, otherwise known as hunter's chicken. It does wonderfully in the crockpot. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be preparing the sauce first and then I will be putting it on the chicken. So I'm going to be using Thrive Life Espanol sauce. Now you don't have to use Thrive Life Espanol sauce even though it's absolutely terrific. You can use beef gravy or you can make a roux, make your own homemade brown sauce. Let's get started on this thing. Okay, so we're gonna make Hunter's sauce. Hunter sauce is primarily an Espanol sauce. Make a brown roux and add vegetables to it. It's typically what they say in the culinary world, the Espanol sauce is like a mother sauce. If you choose, you can make a roux with butter and flour and everything, but today for expedience sake, I'm going to be using the Thrive Life Espanol sauce. You can even use the regular beef beef gravy if you want. In a pot, I have a little bit of butter in the bottom. I'm going to be browning my vegetables a little bit to soften them up. Okay, now that my butter is melted, I'm going to add carrots. It's about 16 ounces. And I'm gonna cook those down a little bit, give them a head start, and these take a while. Okay, now that I've given the carrots a really good head start. I'm going to add in some mushrooms and some celery chopped up. Sweat those down a little bit. Okay, with the Thrive Life Espanol sauce, let's use a third of a cup to two cups of hot water. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a cup of water and then I'll be using one more cup of chicken broth. I'm going to give this a little whisk. Okay, to this wonderful mixed vegetable, I'm going to add white wine. I got this at Trader Joe's. I needed a smaller one. I didn't want to open a big bottle of wine for this. Pour in a little bit of white wine. Get the flavor going in here. And turn up the heat a bit so I can boil off the alcohol. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of brandy. And then I'm going to reduce this by about a half. Okay, all the alcohol has burned off and it smells excellent. Go to this, then I'm going to pour it straight in the pan. And that's how it looks. Now it's time to season it. Okay, I've got a little bit of dried tarragon. and a little bit of thyme. We all want a little bit of thyme. Smush it between your hands. Granulated garlic. Some granulated onion. Mix this all in. Now I'm going to taste it. There's a little more tarragon. And now with that, to make it uh, hunter sauce, a lot of people put tomatoes in. I'm not putting tomatoes in, I'm putting tomato paste. A lot of people like to put the step of the tomato paste in when they're frying the vegetables. I, however, did not do that this time. To this, I'm going to be adding some Maggi seasoning. Not very much, about a fourth of a teaspoon. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Just needed an extra little deepening of the flavor. Okay, I'm going to simmer this for just a little bit, and we'll be back to do the rest. Okay, in my crock pot, I have eight chicken thighs. They're partially thawed, 
not all the way. And on the bottom, I put a little bit of the Hunter's sauce. So with the chicken on the bottom here, I'm going to pour the Hunter's sauce over it. Get all that sauce yumminess in there. And I'm gonna make sure that some of the sauce gets near or on the chicken that's at the bottom. That's how it looks in the crock pot. Okay, so I'm going to cover this. Make sure it's plugged in. Hi everyone. So what I did was I set the crock pot on high for six hours. I've made this recipe before. It's a family favorite. So it turns out wonderfully. Please like and subscribe and share if you want. And please hit the bell twice to get notifications of any other future videos I put up. Thanks very much. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye-bye.